So BCG is a vaccine which has been developed against tuberculosis approximately 100 years ago. In addition to protection against tuberculosis, there was also protection observed against other infections and especially against respiratory tract infections, including viral infections. The mechanisms through which BCG protects against other types of infections is through influencing and reprogramming the function of innate immune cells, such as monocytes, macrophages, natural killer cells. What it has been observed is that there are epigenetic and transcriptional modification of the stem cells in the bone marrow for the innate immune cells, and those transmit long-term differences in function of these cells so they can react better to infections. We have a pandemic with an emerging new pathogen for which nobody has protection. BCG vaccination itself, by providing this non-specific broad protection, can represent a bridge until we have a specific vaccine. So it can protect for two, three years. In those two, three years, we have the enough time to develop a specific vaccine that can protect long-term against the infection with this new coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2. At this moment, there is absolutely no proof that BCG would work against COVID-19. So there is no need to be vaccinated right now. Everything needs to be done within randomized controlled trials. And only if those trials provide positive results, then is a moment to decide whether the population should be vaccinated or not.